guys welcome to my channel i am about to fix me some louisiana red beans and this is the only place you can find camellia red beans is louisiana and i'm gonna make them as creamy as i know how all right i got me an onion bell pepper some celery and I got me some extra frozen on you, your choice. You want to use the frozen or you can do it by hand. It doesn't matter. I got me some steak, a steak ham. And I'm about to put my beans in some water and let them soak for a couple of hours. And then I'm going to put them in a the crock pot for about three hours. And we're about to get us some creamy, creamy, creamy red beans. And here's how you do it. All right, I got me some water running here. And I'm going to take my beans, just the beans, and let them soak for a couple of hours. And after I soak them, I'm going to rinse them off a couple of times. And I'm going to put them in my crock pot for about two hours. Let them cook on hot so they can be cooking a little bit. And then I'm going to throw them into my frying pan. All right, watch me. All right, now that my beans have been soaking for about two hours, I'm about to take them and wash them again a couple of times. And since today is Monday in Louisiana, we fix red beans on Monday in Louisiana. I don't know about nobody else, but on Mondays, we know what we have. And red beans, rice, and cornbread. All right, I'm going to take these beans and put them in my crock pot. All right, I have a little water in my beans right over, right over my beans. And I'm going to put them on high and let them cook for a couple of hours while I put up my seasoning and my ham. And then I'm gonna put this in the skillet, let it saute for a while, and then I'm gonna add my beans, which is gonna be halfway cooked when I put them into the frying pan. Here we go. bell pepper and celery sartine in here. Now I'm about to add my steak ham that I chopped up. And I'm about to add this in here and let that saute for a few minutes. And then I'm gonna add my red beans that's been soaking for about, um, cooking for two hours. And I'm gonna put it in this pot and let it simmer for about 45 minutes and my beans will be creamy. That's it. Creamy red beans. I'm gonna throw them in this frying pan. And the next thing you know, we'll have us some creamy red beans. And that's how we do it in Louisiana. Voila. All right, I'm about to add my beans to my seasoning and put me a little Tony Saturi in here. And by the way, I want to thank my number one fan, Vanessa, that sent me my new tripod. She said I don't have to hold my camera anymore. That is so sweet of her. She watched every one of my videos and comment on every one of my videos. And she loved my peanut butter cookies. 
Shout out to Vanessa. Love you. Thanks. All right, we're about to get these beans in this pot so they can start creaming down. Here we go. Um, Saute my meat and my onion with some butter. And I'm about to add my beans. And that's the way we do it. Okay, guys, here we go. Tonight we have us some red beans and rice. Creamy red beans, that is. I took my seasoning and my butter and my ham and sauteed it in a pan for about 15 minutes. And then I took my familiar red beans I had been soaking in my crock pot for about three hours. And I put the two in a skillet. And this is what we have. Creamy red beans. Naturally creamy red beans. All right. We're about to check our cornbread. And it is ready. Our cornbread is ready. Our rice is ready. And our red beans is ready to go on the plate. Here we go. Take my cornbread and rub some butter on it. Yes, sir. Let that butter melt in there. Then I'm about to cut my cornbread up. It's good and hot. Hit. All right, and this is what our red beans look like. Ooh, boy, you get that in New Orleans at the restaurant, boy. Woo wee! Red beans and rice. Here's our cornbread. And as Julia Siles would say, don't know for tea. Let's see. What's for dinner tonight? 